When students use thinking maps over and over again, the same map for the same thought process, what happens is the brain wires those two together so that every time a student sees a tree map, they think classification. So when they're in a textbook and it says there are three kinds of laws, in their mind they see a tree map so that you have that pattern wired together to the visual to have a visual pattern for thinking. The brain does not outline. You, you, form, you form networks or maps of neurons and your information is contained within those maps so that if you think about it, Thinking Maps operates the same way the brain does. The teacher can see what the student has learned because Thinking Maps are not only good for the student to use, to learn from, but they can be used as an assessment. So teacher immediately knows what it is that the student has learned and what it is that she can teach. Does she need to go back or can she go forward because the student's got it? And Thinking Maps is a wonderful tool to not only teach to but to assess, which means that time is used much more effectively. I can use the thinking map to show the children what I'm thinking and they'll understand what I'm thinking because they understand the thinking map. They know that what I'm teaching them is a process or it's an analogy because they know exactly what the thinking map is supposed to show you. It helps the children because they are not guessing what I'm looking for. When I do a circle map, they know that I'm brainstorming something and if I'm doing a bubble map, they know that we're looking for adjectives. So it really helps them that way. They're not guessing what I'm looking for. They know exactly what I want. The brain has an absolutely amazing ability to remember what it's seen from very, very early on. We don't remember words on pages. We don't remember sounds we've heard often, but we always remember the pictures. If I say to you, elephant, you see one. And if I say to you, don't see a giraffe, you still see one. So when I first started using different types of visual tools, I got excited because of the successes of my students. But then I realized, what if we put them together as a language, a coherent set of eight thinking maps that then could be internalized by the students so then they, on their own, could perform at the levels that they wanted to perform at. What we see with the maps is the kids have an emotional connection because they understand it. They like making the maps. It gives them a security to move to the higher levels of thinking. So now they have an emotional connection. The maps help them make meaning and together they pay attention. They can read a page of text and they'll see thinking better.